The return of Guillermo El Chicao Rigandao. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang, gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations the venmo donations and the patreon family we work and now the return of el chacal guillermo rigandao is among us rigandao has been seen in these photos he's back working out and he took a little time off he hasn't been seen since december when he fought i think he fought lomachenko december 8th if memory serves correctly and lomachenko beat him and he ended up pretty much quitting in the fight Right, he says it was a hand injury, but a lot of people perceived it. Even Terence Crawford says he believes he quit. But that's in the past. He's training and he's looking to stage a comeback and do some more fights, which I like to see this. I think Rigandau is still a quality fighter. He went after it. He took a chance fighting a bigger guy who had the same type of seasoning and amateur pedigree. And you know what they say, a good big man beats a great little man, vice versa, or whatever you want to say. So Lomachenko is definitely a good fighter. And his experience, plus having a natural size advantage, I mean, he was able to get the job done. And Rigadao thought he would be able to do something with Lomachenko. And he quickly find, found out that that wasn't the case. So I want to welcome Rigadao back. He's obviously in shape. I don't know. He probably just took some time off with family or something. I'm not quite sure, but he says he was resting, and that's what it is. He came back, and he's ready to start that new chapter. Here's what he said. I was resting, and there was nothing else, but we came back again. We are in the gym and ready to start a new chapter in our career. I have not lost my passion for boxing. My physical and mental energies have always been there. Nothing happened. I'm not one of those boxers who loses a fight and dies. Many greats have lost, and I do not think that my defeat is something that determines my career. Facing Vasil Lomachenko at 130 was not a mistake. Things just did not go as expected. Maybe it was not what I expected. It was a lot of weight. I am very small for that division from 118 to 130. And then the next day, the difference was greater, 160 against 124. It was too much for me, but it happened and, no and nothing happened. Everyone wants to win, and this is true, but some win and others lose. Good things are coming. That's from Rigging Out. So, I mean, at least what he's saying it remains to be seen what it looks like in terms of the perception of other fighters what i mean by that is this when a fighters see a guy who's like rigadao who was feared and, and avoided and the boogeyman and duck and then they see him finally lose it's a reality check for other fighters so other fighters might take more chances with rigadao now like oh okay we've seen lomachenko overwhelm him you know so it kind of gives other people confidence but as far as rigadao himself I like what he's saying. I like the confidence. A loss doesn't define you. You know, Muhammad Ali, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., Roy Jones, all the greats, except for a handful like of Marcianos and Floyd Mayweathers and Kalzaki, have left the game with a blemish record. You know what I mean? Their O wasn't intact. The, you know what I mean? The guys that, out of the guys that fought competition. So, um, no excuses. Lomachenko won. However, I do think size definitely has something to do with it but he signed up for that he, he thought he could do it and he came up short it is what it is you move on but i'm looking forward to see what happens next i don't know if he's going down to 22 26 i mean you never know because i think donaire is going back down to 18 to be in that world boxing super series so i'm not quite sure but i do know rigandau what he's saying is true like 130 is not probably his ideal weight and that's what a lot of people say going into it but People still pull for Rigadell, thinking that he would be able to pull the trigger. Even me, I thought he was going to beat Lomachenko just because I thought he would be able to land some shots and um, really stop, prevent Lomachenko from jumping in. But he couldn't get off, couldn't pull the trigger. As far as him saying Lomachenko was 160, I don't know. I don't know if they did an unofficial weigh-in, but I don't remember that aspect. So I don't know where he's pulling that number. He said he, he weighed 160 on the night of the fight. 
So let me know what you guys think. The return of El Chacal Rigonal. Who do you want to see him fight? I think there's a lot of great fights out there for a Donaire rematch or maybe he can hop in the World Boxing Super Series. I don't know if it's too late. Abner Mades, Leo Santa Cruz, Carl Frampton, Scott Quigg, Oscar Valdez. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what division he's planning on going to, but it, it definitely should be under 130, 122, 126, maybe 118 if he thinks he can make it. So let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego sign up. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.